cultural alternative to Latino or Latina. Spanish words ending in O are generally male, while Spanish words ending in A are generally female. So the X applies to anybody. But where did this word come from? According to Merriam-Webster, the term Latinx popped up in the early 2000s as a word for Latin people who don't identify as male or female. It's just about being inclusive of that really beautiful rainbow of, of folks that we have underneath the LGBTQ uh, spectrum. Latinx also applies to people who are indigenous to one or several Latin countries. When I identify as Latinx, um, I'm not just pigeonholing myself into one culture or one specific um, ethnicity. Um, I definitely believe that uh, uh, as a Latinx person, um, I'm more than just one stereotype or um, one definition. Something to note here, not everyone likes the word Latinx. Technically, the word Latino can be applied to any group of people. So why even use the word Latinx? For a lot of folks that are not in that particular binary, it just feels more comfortable for them to kind of take that gender out of it. So it becomes an X because it's an unknown. So that's where it becomes Latinx. It's not a divisive thing. It's more of being inclusive. With more people identifying as Latinx, it's important that folks understand what the word means. The more people use it and the more they feel empowered,